smiling because I like to wear my gloves in the winter. No. Because there isn't the least bit of adventure in you. You know who you are? You're a watcher. There are watchers in this world, and there are doers. And the watchers sit around watching the doers do. Well, tonight, you watched, and I did. Yeah, well, it was harder to watch what you did than it was for you to do what I was watching. You won't let go for a minute. You couldn't even relax for one night. Yeah, well, sometimes you act like a... Uh, what, stuffed shirt? I didn't say That's that. That's what you're implying. That's what you're anticipating. I didn't say you're a stuffed shirt, but <laughs> you are extremely proper and dignified. Proper and dignified. When, when was I proper and dignified? All right. The other night at Delfino's, you were drunk, right? Right, I was stoned. Exactly. I didn't know until you told me in the morning. You're a funny kind of drunk. You just sat there looking unhappy and washing your coat. I was washing my coat because I saw someone else washing my coat. Look. If you want, I'll get drunk for you sometime. I'll show you a slob. Make your hair stand on end. That isn't necessary. Do you know? Do you know, last New Year's Eve, I punched an old woman. Don't tell me about drunks. <laughs> when else? When else was I proper and dignified? Always. You're always dressed right, you always look right, you always say the right things. You're very close to being perfect. That, whew, that is a rock thing to say. <laughs> I've never seen you without a jacket. I always feel like such a slob compared to you. Before we were married, I was sure you slept with a tie. Oh no, no, just for very formal sleeves. Ridiculous. And you're not, that's just the problem. Like. Last Thursday night, you went to our fair pool with me in Washington Square Park. Why not? Very simple answer. It was 17 degrees. Exactly. <laughs> That's very sensible and logical, but it isn't any fun. You know, maybe I am too proper and dignified for you. Maybe you would have been happier with someone a little more flamboyant, like a Greek. It'd be a lot more fun than a stuffed shirt. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said I wasn't. Well, you are now. I'm not going to listen to this. I'm not going to listen to this. I've got a case in court in the morning. Where are you going? To sleep. Sleep now? How can you sleep now? I'm going to close my eyes and count Nietzsche's. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> We can't go to sleep now, we're having a fight. You have the fight. When you're through, turn off the lights. That gets me insane. You can even control your emotions. Look. I'm just as upset as you are. When I'm hungry, I eat. And when I'm tired, I sleep. You eat and sleep too. Don't deny it. I've seen you. Not in the middle of a crisis. What crisis? We're just yelling a little. You don't consider this a crisis? Our whole relationship hangs in the balance. It does? When did that happen? Just now. <laughs> it's very clear that you and I have nothing in common. Oh, why? Because I don't like to walk barefoot in the park in the winter? You haven't got a case for me. Don't oversimplify this. I'm angry. Can't you see that? Corey, it's 2.15. If I could possibly... 
about half an hour, I could be about five hours sleep. Look, I'll call you from work tomorrow and we can fight over the phone. You will not go to sleep, you'll stay here and fight to save our marriage! If our marriage hinges on breathing fish balls, it's not worth saving. I am going to crawl into our tiny little single bed. If you care to join me, we will be slipping from left to right tonight. <laughs> you won't discuss it? You're afraid to discuss it. I married a coward. Corey, if you bring in a bucket, the closet's tripping. I hate you. I really, really hate you. Corey, there's one thing I learned in court. Be careful when you are tired and angry. You might see something you'll soon regret. I am now tired and angry. You're the coward. And I will now see something I'll soon regret. Okay, Corey. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe we don't have anything in common. Maybe we uh, rushed into this marriage a little too fast. Maybe love isn't enough. Maybe two people should get checked for more than just a blood test. Maybe they should be checked for common sense, understanding, and emotional maturity. All right? Why don't you get passed in the Supreme Court? Only those couples bearing a certificate from their psychiatrist stating that they're well-adjusted are permitted to get married. Yeah, possibly. You're embarrassed. You belong in a nursery. <laughs> 